Om Shanti. I'm on your book. Om Shanti. Yes. Om Shanti. So let's begin the session with the one time Om and, uh, <clears throat> and Shanti Shanti. Gently close your eyes. Go into your asana. Take a deep, long, slow inhalation. Exhale. Now inhale for the Om. Om. Drain your both thumb, bow down. <clears throat> Very slowly open up your eyes and say Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Welcome to the yoga therapy session. <coughs> so today we're going to talk about uh, the kapha related issues. So kapha related issues, these are the general problems. Um, the one is asthma, uh, then sin sinus problem, like upper and lower respiratory problems mostly happen because kapha go imbalance. And I also talked about it that these are the location of the kapha, right? So uh, kapha basically uh, increase, when kapha go imbalance, you have lots of mucus. Okay, you start having the mucus. It's become hardened in your body and then you feel the problem around your area. You have difficulty in breathing, short breath, these kind of issues. Even COVID happened because of kapha imbalance. Okay, bacteria invade into your body and it causes the kapha imbalance. Symptoms, flu, cold, okay, these are the kapha generated issues. Then, <clears throat> Uh, other things, migraine, headache, these are also the problem related to the kapha. So today we're going to look towards it, that how we can uh, come out from these issues, okay? Especially sinus, uh, asthma, there's no cure, okay? Migraine, no cure. Uh, people whole life, they have to take the medicine. But with the, thankfully, with the yoga therapy and with the help of the Ayurveda, we can... Uh, help them to come out from these uh, problems. So, uh, if we start talking, we start with the, especially in asthma and uh, sinus issues, uh, you have four sinus in this area. Just a little bit, I'll give you, I think all of you are aware of what is a sinus. The whole space in your uh, face, face area, right? That regulate the breath. Which, uh, like whenever you inhale, the breath is cold, but when it passes through this sinus area, then it moderates the temperature of the breath. And so breath becomes, uh, the temperature of the breath is modified and then it's suitable for the body. Okay. You know, whenever you go into the uh, mountain area, so cold breathe. So you require sinus help these things. Okay in regulation of the breath. What happened, these hollow space in your face, malexary sinus, saphonite sinus, ethomite sinus, frontal sinus, these are the four sinus, which stuck with the mucus. Mucus stored there, and then whenever you get the cold, 
So you your body start producing the more mucus, so bacteria come out through the mucus. This is the general way. That's how body heals himself. But what we do, we take the medicine, antibiotics, and other uh, uh, medicine, and which immediately dry up the mucus and mucus stored there. Okay, and then it started inflamed, and when it's inflamed, uh, inflamed, it pressurized the muscles around that area, and you feel the pain. Okay, around, and you feel the heaviness around your these areas. Uh, this can be the sinus can be triggered with many reason behind of it. Maybe you are having allergy towards the pollen, towards the dust. Polluted environment you are working, region could be many. Or child, since childhood you are having, you are very sensitive towards this uh, climate. So anytime the climate is changed, you get the sinus. It's going to trigger up the sinus. So sinusitis is like inflammation of the sinus. Okay? So how to come out? We're going to talk about it. Then in asthma, basically, you have the windpipe where air is going passes through the lungs and reaches to the alveoli. So what happened, these bronchi and the trachea uh, narrow down because mucus, again, mucus stuck there in the pipe and your body producing because of, again, the reason could be many, uh, dust, pollen, allergy, attack, or you are having lots of stress. Stress also triggered the mucus. Uh, uh, you start producing the lots of mucus in your windpipe. This mucus is basically for helping you, but actually what happened, because it's triggering back to you uh, with small, small situation, and then air pipe, uh, the air pipe is narrowed down. The windpipe is narrowed down, and then you, the oxygen would not be passed easily. Air would not be reaching to the alveoli. Uh, and then you have shortness of the breath. People die, even attack of dust. So there is no permanent solution. In allopathy, no, there is no permanent solution. But in yoga therapy, are you with? Yes. Through the diet, through the other things, even same with the migraine, no cure. You feel the headache. Migraine can be happen because of the sinus as well and because of the attack as well because of sunlight, because of uh, other reasons, stress, you are taking it. Migraine is like one part of the head you are feeling the pain. And migraine, there's many types of migraine. Very worse condition. People cannot, uh, even they, in order to reduce the pain, they take the morphine and they become addicted to the morphine. So my guru used to have the, that migraine attack every 15 days. And he, through the Vipassana, he come out from the migraine permanently. He cured his, his migraine permanently. Yes, uh, these are the, uh, migraine is related to the psychosomatic issues, related to your mind problems, uh, psychological problems. So the cure is also available through the meditation, through the yoga practice. Other normal headache, cold, Yes, same routine we want to follow. Okay. So these are the mostly kapha generated issues and now how we can help them. So through the diet, basically. Uh, diet, first you have to understand everything, whatever you're eating, it's cold in nature. It increases the kapha in the body. So uh, fasting is the best option. Whenever you have attack, you're having the cold, flu, migraine, asthma, go for the fasting immediately, okay? What kind of fasting? You can have the liquid fasting, uh, like you can start drinking the green pulse liquid. You have to soak it under the water, that water, take it out, uh, eight, nine hours, then use that water making soup. You can add garlic, ginger, turmeric, little bit black pepper, that it's going to maintain the energy as well and it uh, improve your strength as well. And it's help you to reduce the kapha. It bring the kapha in balance form. Move pulse the, with the skin. That water you have to use. It, okay? 
Then again, uh, black chickpea, you should use again soaked under the water. That water you have to take. And keep, uh, you can make the chana. <coughs> black chickpea for other things. Later on, you can utilize it. But start taking the water of these things. Okay. Uh, what, nuts water, you can take it. So liquid. All the water which is soaked, uh, you have to use the vegetable water also. Soup, if you're taking the, uh, take the vegetables out of from them and just take the water. These kind of liquid fasting, they have to go through it at least one day, 24 hours or 48 hours. It totally up to you. It basically bring this routine, bring immediately the kapha down. Okay. And uh, you come out, it's reduce the symptoms immediately. Two and three days it will take uh, for even normal cold and even in the COVID situation. Immediately practice these things. It helps you not. Yes, you feel a little bit laziness. You feel dizziness. That's don't worry about it. You won't gonna die. Okay. And then uh, after when you feel like you want to eat something, then use the. Uh, Green pulses soup, then you can add, use the whole skin, the green pulse soup, you can make it with the, again, the green pulse and the water. Okay, same way. Start having the soup of it. And same with the uh, black chickpea. Okay, it's very good. I'll give you lots of energy. Then a piece of jaggery you can keep in your mouth. Um, immediately cut off the sugar because bacteria, most of the bacteria which is coming out from the outside, which bringing the imbalance in the kapha, uh, they work, they they grow off sugar intake. They um, Gurgishji, I have a question. What is this called? Green what? Green pearl? Green, green pearl is moong dal. In Hindi we oh, call moong it. dal. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. So that you have to take it. You have to prepare the soup. Again, soup, I told you how you have to prepare. Use the clay pot or the iron pot. Same way you have to. It's for everyone. The preparation should be important. Okay. Adding the these spices, garlic, turmeric, ginger, uh, clove you can add, black pepper you can add. Okay. These uh, specify the color. Okay. And then... Um, yes. Now come to the when you feel uh, even in the COVID situation. Okay, this this diet you have two two three days. Okay, even you are having fever, go for the liquid diet. Don't take the instantly. Don't take the medicine, paracetamol or other things. Do these things. It helps. Out. I did this practice on my children, so that's why I can claim it. So afterward, uh, you can, when you start feeling like you want to have something, you can start with it. And then intake of the sugar immediately reduce it. But yes, your blood pressure go down. It's affect your blood pressure as well. So little piece of the jaggery you can keep in your mouth. Honey also good. Uh, empty stomach, you can take the honey. Okay. Honey also good for the reducing the cough. Uh, that's good honey, wild organic honey, if you get, invest your money, good brand honey uh, you have to buy. That honey you have to take, uh, take with a little spoon and then uh, lick it on, apply on your tongue and then uh, lick it, okay? Don't mix with the water, take like this. So it's gonna soothe your throat. If you have dry throat or the cough throat, uh, still, it's going to work in both. Antibacterial, antifungal, and it's improved. It, even if you're having the fever, it's work. Good for you. Okay. And then honey, jaggery is, should be given to them. Okay. Uh, completely white sugar, carbs, completely avoided. Uh, lots of protein shouldn't be given to them. Easy digestible fruits. Fruits, what fruits they can have. Pomegranate. Uh, probably green juice, if they have indigestion, COVID also causes indigestion, okay? Whenever you get even normal cold and flu, if bacteria reaches to your stomach, the symptom is you are having the symptoms of indigestion as well or the diarrhea. 
in that situation juices pomegranate juice should be given how you should give it uh, you can give you can add the little bit warm water into it hot water into it add the rock salt and the pinch of uh, black pepper and the dry ginger powder and uh, drink it sip it okay if not you don't have diarrhea symptoms then raw fruit you can take how you going to take it roasted pomegranate so with the skin you have to roast the pomegranate on the flame of the gas the stove the fire you have to use it skin going to burn and then peel it and use the sheet and then you can you have to chew it okay chew and take the juice inside with the sheet that is very really healthy for you that's the, how you should take it don't directly take it then pineapple juice yes it's rich in the vitamin c vitamin c intake should be increased uh, oranges yes you can give it to them but uh, make sure add the water hot water into it so the property because these are cold in nature and take during the sunlight sit in those in the sunlight and then take it whole uh, if you're not able to take the juice whole fruit you are want to take it again put into the hot water and, and at least a few a few second few minutes and then take it out and add these spices rock salt black pepper these spices and then enjoy it. okay um, cumin dry uh, roasted cumin also you can sprinkle it it improves your digestion okay that's how you should take not direct okay um uh, and again in the sunlight it's very much important otherwise it going to increase the cough okay uh, these things should be um, you are practicing whenever you have symptoms of the when situation is aggravated okay you get the pneumonia you get the in covid you get the pneumonia lungs uh, infected we and hardly so have I'm, sun sunlight in canada in toronto most of the time it's so dark we barely get the sun only if like some no if there's no sun a uh, little bit hot water you can add it and eat uh, take during the noon time okay okay because light is there so it also okay. gonna okay so uh, now when even after my attack saying routine you going to follow migraine same thing you going to follow if symptom is there cold flu same thing okay um, then if there is no symptoms but still you have cough issues then you have to <coughs> and don't uh, don't take the milk immediately boycott the milk when you have the symptoms okay uh, especially you are doing the fasting this this kind of fasting you are adopting but when the symptom is reduced now normal kapha you are having it and you are after 3 and 4 days situation is under your control then what you should take it then uh, gram flour uh, chapati you can have gram flour chana which we call uh, we call um, yellow dal uh, flour you can have chana dal flour which we call gram flour then black chick flour you can use for uh, making the chapati same with the vat which i talked about it you have to add those spices and make it the chapati okay in normal condition of the kapha then uh, fruits yes you can have all the fruits papaya is good for them apple is good for them pineapple is good for them chiku is good for them but no banana banana completely wicked um kiwi yes you can have it kiwi uh kiwi and which is the thing which is high rich in the vitamin c okay but again all the citrus fruit should be given during the sunlight okay uh, juice if you're taking it so add the hot water if you're taking the raw fruits then keep a little bit in hot water for few second wash it properly and have with the skin okay uh, these things you're going to take it then um, two times of the meal should be given to them if they are hungry all the fried food should be carbs no. protein yes 
you can uh, increase the protein. Protein should be coming from the that time they can have the cow milk and goat milk. How they should take the cow milk and goat milk? A little bit by adding the water into it. So when they are uh, taking the uh, cow milk and goat milk, you have to add the water, boil it, add the pinch of uh, turmeric, uh, uh, black pepper, nutmeg, uh, nutmeg powder, you can add it, um, then cardamom. Cardamom is cold in nature, but it's also good for increasing the flavor. And salt, dry ginger powder, you have to put into the milk. Boil it properly and then take it. You can add a little bit ghee, little bit ghee, not too much. Little bit cow, uh, good quality of the ghee. A2 level ghee is available in the market. You can get that cow ghee. A little bit ghee, you can give it to them. Um, before sunset, okay, before sunset. That help you to give the protein and give you all the nourishment to the body. Nuts, all varieties of the nuts they can have. Dry <coughs> on all the dry nuts and dry fruits. It's give them energy instantly, and it's also improving their digestion as well. Okay, but nuts again under soaking under the water. Same way they have to make the paste. When they make using the stone and making the paste, it easy digestion, okay? Because their jotaragni is also weak, very weak. So they have to take the make the paste out of it. So easily they can digest, okay? Uh, all kind of uh, sour in nature like uh, yogurt. Yogurt increase the kapha, but um, during the summer they can have the yogurt. Uh, buttermilk. Instead of taking the yogurt, they can have the butter. Buttermilk, they uh, use the little bit yogurt and then adding lots of water. Hot water you can put into it. And then cumin and astrophorida you have to use and rock salt. And then that you can drink during the sunlight. Like around the noon time. Okay, till the noon time you can drink this thing. It's also improved their strength. It's provided the lots of protein, improving their digestion. These should be, they have to do. They have to do lots of precaution like diet, uh, like lots of like uh, cucumber, all the fruits, which is estrogen in nature. They shouldn't be take much. Uh, raw, raw salad, yes, should be given to them. During the noon time, they can have raw onion, garlic, raw garlic, they can go for it. Um, radish, no radish, anything which is lot, having lots of water in it uh, uh, and astringent in nature, coal in nature, they should avoid it. Carrot, beetroot, uh, and other, all the things which is having less water, they can take it raw, okay? Steamed salad also, they can take it. Uh, paneer, little bit, uh, which, we, which we call Indian cheese, Indian cheese, Freshly homemade cheese, they can go for it. Lots of processed cheese, long term, which we are using, modular cheese, common green cheese, not these kind of cheese is heavy for their uh, uh, digestion. Okay, all kind of uh, white flour, completely white sugar, not given to them. White salt, not given to anybody. Okay. So all kind of personalities should have the natural sugars, uh, natural rock, mineral rock salt. So we call senna namak, rock salt, pink salt, black salt, these are, or bamboo salt is also available. It is a uh, recipe which Chinese uh, people, they are making it. it. Traditionally, they are making it bamboo. It's very expensive salt, but it's rich in the minerals. That salt you can buy from the market as well. That's all you can use in your cooking or even in on for the on the top. In the cooking, uh, most of the minerals are loose. So on the top, you can put, you can use the mineral salt. Okay. So when you're considering and paying attention to these small, small things, you maintain the nutrition level of your body uh, in the balance form, not high and not the low. 
and then you bring the balance in the kapha. Okay, so these are the diet for the kapha. Chapati is again not white flour, not rice, not sour things should be given them, not packets. Anything which is stored in the fridge should not be given to them for anybody. Fridge, storage, food, food which is not consumed within a three hour, it's become uh, rotten. It starts spoiling, okay? And it changed the property. It's become tamasic in nature. So tamasic, it means bring more imbalance in the three nature. And then you get the vat imbalance, kapha imbalance, patha imbalance. So avoid making these mistakes. Freshly, homemade, uh, cooked food, you have to take it, uh, especially when they have these symptoms. Kapha has to take lots of precaution. So they have to take freshly soups, vegetables, all which is available at around the 100 kilometers, they have to take it, okay? And this is all about the diet. Then water, um, <coughs> uh, cold water they can have and whole day they have to take the hot water. Cold water, they cannot take it. Hot water should be given to them. It's also pacify the kapha. Then come to the asana practice. What are the asana for the asthma uh, and for migraine and for sinus issues, lower and upper respiratory systems, especially? Um, the best asanas for them is chest, where you're opening the chest. All the asanas like Ostra asana, camel pose, bhujang asana, all the variation of the bhujang posture. Uh, that you all the variation uh, there's a many many variation of the bhujangasan cobra pushu uh, that you can introduce to them you can make the flow gentle flow for them then um, then balancing posture yes you can introduce to them one balancing posture you can introduce to them standing balancing posture then uh, other posture like uh, you know, whenever you're just opening your chest, any posture which opening your chest. So there's many chakras in uh, cutting all the twisting postures also, opening your chest region, opening your clavicle blad as well, and twisting, improving, giving the massage to your lower abdominal parts organ. That's also improving your chathar agni as well. So twisting, opening your chest postures. I've just given you the few names of the asin, you can make the flow, flow of it, 30 to 45 minutes of the flow, you can make it gentle flow you have to give into them. And when you're giving the asin to them, okay, like uh, you are introducing the uh, cobra pose. So cobra posture is you're introducing them. So you have to include the chest and abdominal breathing. Along with the chest and abdominal breathing, they have to hold the posture. It increases the function of the lungs. And they, they inhale more oxygen. And understand once they get more oxygen to the lungs, the, uh, they can reduce all the issues of related to these things, okay? So this thing you have to introduce. More oxygen reaching to the lungs, the so more oxygen reaching to the each and every part of the body. And then, Problem, most of the problem would be sorted out, especially if you get pneumonia and COVID, you have to do more. And in COVID, basically, you have to lie down on the supine posture and do the chest breathing and abdominal breathing. Okay, at least 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it, it in immediately improving your oxygen level, it increasing your oxygen level. So, I did this thing on my mom as well and to myself as well when we get got the COVID. So this work wonder. You have to maintain the oxygen level in your body. Okay, so these gonna help you. Um, when whenever there is attack, when you're dropping your oxygen, then immediately supine position and start breathing from your abdomen. Okay, that help you a lot. Then uh, these are the asin. Then shat karma, yes, shat karma help. Shankrashalan, same 
कुंजल प्रैक्टिस यस प्योकिंग वमन धोती इज वर्क वंडर वमन धोती इज लाइक वे यू डू द प्योकिंग इट आल्सो पैसिफाई ऑल द थ्री दोष इट्स आल्सो बैलेंसिंग द वाद विद एंड काफा सो काफा इट्स इट्स कम आउट द म्यूकस आर रिमूविंग द म्यूकस इन योर बॉडी ओके so puki uh, vamand hoti we call or kunjal we call that should be practiced by them and then uh, but again learn from the under the guidance of the yogi teacher uh, shankar chal yes niti yes jal niti uh, sutra niti good for that very good for that it's also work for the migraine headache a uh, cold sinus yes work wonder and asthma yes wonderful all kind of needs which i talked about it and yesterday i also talked about it that niti kriya tel niti and krit niti before sleeping so they have to do with the mustard oil so not they shouldn't be practicing with the ghee mustard oil give you a little bit burning sensation but it's worth it okay only one week you going to feel it after afterward your body become habitual of it so don't worry really about it you feel burning sensation so put the mustard oil little bit till you form it put inside your nostril ears and uh, keep your head like this apply in your navel and uh, in your uh, reproductive organs and your anal region that's you have to and learn and these people they should learn and the uh, jal niti am the rubber niti okay that work on it strengthening the muscles around okay and so uh, these are you know you come out from the mind and even asthma and sinus itis problems it's in strengthening both upper and lower respiratory system so then breathing breath what are the best breathing four practice which i talked about it uh, diaphragmic breathing abdominal and the thoracic breathing then uh, nadi shuddha yes that alom vilom which we call this should be introduced to them yogic breathing three parts of the breathing that has to be introduced along with that mant gati bhastrika pranayam and mand gati kapal bhati come into the part of the shat karma Uh, but modern yogis put into the pranayam part they start using as a that is considered to, they consider as a pranayam so both mand gati kapal bhati and mand gati uh, bhastrika pranayam should be used to that is a very slow version okay that gonna help them to improve their blood circulation and to bring the kapha uh, it specify the it increase the heat in the body and slowly you come from the mandagati to the madhyamagati and then trivagati slowly it take to reach to the trivagati is like high pace of the kapal ghat uh, kapal bhati and uh, the bhastrika pranayam uh, it will take 2 to 3 months to reach there so start with this this is the variation very slow pace you have to do okay and these really practice bring the kapha down okay bring the kapha balance then uh, what kind of meditation you should do introduce to them uh, kapha people mostly <coughs> very lazy super lazy super lethargic and they are weak also and they don't participate in most of the things sitting posture so always chart introduce the meditation with the active participation active participation called like um, chanting or the dancing meditation or it could be a, a, a mindfulness walk which i introduced yesterday in the meditation class that also you can introduce to them um, and then uh, take them towards the passive for sitting meditation okay so there is a variation um, there is a types of the sit um, passive meditation as well so you can make them sit first and then they can go for the anapan a uh, meditation you can introduce to them or the prana meditation okay these uh, in prana all akar ukar makar one part or the all the three together you can introduce one by one whatever you like okay 
you can introduce and it's gonna help them. And yes, these practice should be given to them and understand meditation work and it basically bring especially in the migraine uh, and related to migraine there is no cure and it's tremendous pain and once you start taking the drugs to calm out from the pain you become addicted to it and it's a completely a trap and there's no solution still now so and there's a very very different kind of migraine people are having it so make sure these people do the meditation. You cannot skip the meditation part at all. In therapy, meditation plays a very important role. Even in the COVID situation, you have to calm down. Stuff. When body is calmed down and not having the stress, you know, COVID, why COVID is becoming, creating so much havoc because people are getting panic attack. They are not having the problems. They are not dying because of the COVID, but because they are overstressing themselves. And so their immune system go down. Whenever you overstress, your immune system go down. And then you, when your immune system is not able to fight with the bacteria, you're not trusting yourself. You get the panic. You start panicking down. And then the situation aggravated, problems aggravated. So meditation help you to release the stress. <coughs> so this is all about any doubt, any problems. Uh, sorry, I have a question from uh, the beginning when uh, we started uh, talking about uh, when all, all these three kinds of uh, migraine, sinus and um, asthma uh, when they have um, the attacks so uh, what uh, liquid what, what what exactly what uh, and do we use the first one that you have said i i couldn't write down okay so um, uh, whenever they have attack of asthma they are all taking the medicine to pacify their uh, lungs uh, muscles right uh, they have to continue that muscles, but uh, they have to continue that medicine. Don't uh, immediately stop because it's become, it's going to aggravate the situation. This therapy session, which I am telling you, it's slowly, gradually, it will help them. Okay. First thing, let them take the medicine. Okay. Then during the attack, what you can do, tell them to take more. So they, most of the people, they use the inhaler. After inhalation, they have to put themselves on the fasting mode, okay? After, when they relax, immediately they should not be eating anything. They have to take the break, relax their muscles, so they can go for the fasting. Fasting is like um, where they are giving them the strength, where they are giving their energy, uh, pranic energy to cure their muscles and to cure, to um, uh, uh, clean the air pipes, which is stuck with the inflammation, uh, with the pollen or the dust, these things. So immediately, sh they shouldn't be eating anything. They go with the, those things, uh, like uh, water, water, what black chick pea water, or the green pulse moong dal water, which is soaking under nuts water, they can have it whenever they have attacks. Okay, these water should be given. At least um, you can reduce 12 hours or 24 hours, how they feel comfortable. When they start feeling hungry, then you should start giving them fruits, juices, and these things. So that's how you help them uh, uh, to boosting their immune system. And then the immune system, their panic energy is going to help them to come out from, uh, and it's not very quickly they, they stop having the stomatic attack, but it's improving their strength and slowly, gradually, it's reducing their attack. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. So let's end the session with the one, one time Om and Shanti. Gently close your eyes, take a deep breath. Oh. 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Drain your foot, huh? Go down. Om Shanti, like you. Bye bye. Take care. <clears throat> Thank you, Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.